That is still a sexy aircraft. Rods from God? You know about rods from God? The idea of rods from God, or kinetic bombardment, is that a satellite will have pieces of metal and they would be able to deploy anywhere in the world. This would be your global strike. And if you're into Starship Troopers, if you're into Babylon 5, Mobile Suit Gundam, Tom Clancy games, Halo has the Mac weapon. You've seen this in action. In 2003, the Air Force, thank you very much, came up with an idea of having a satellite like that. It would be in space and it would have 20 foot tungsten rods that are one foot in diameter that would be able to hit anywhere in the world moving at 7,673 miles an hour and would have an impact force of 48 gigajoules. Crap, what does that mean? That's like if this telephone pole was made of tungsten and was coming at you at Mach 10. You remember we were talking about speed. And it would hit the ground with enough force that would equal 11.5 tons of TNT. That's a bunker buster. It will destroy nuclear bunkers. By the way, this whole concept was thought of in the 50s. Best thing about having a weapon like that, for those of you who would have a weapon like that, no warning. You don't get a countdown. You don't get nuclear launch detected. No, none of that. You just have a rod coming at you going, surprise, motherfucker. Holy crap. Why don't we have anything like that? That would not only change the face of bombing in general, but that changes nuclear arms. That changes ICBMs. Why have we not done this? Well, working with things like that, you're going to have drawbacks. Some major drawbacks. By the way, just to satisfy some of my wingmen out there, this is an inch, that is a telephone pole. Let's move on. One of your concerns is you gotta get it up there. Our large satellites are about six, six and a half tons. Whereas one rod, if it was gonna be made of tungsten, is going to be over eight tons. Which brings up another question. Number two, ammo. How many rods are you going to take up there with you? And how many rods will that satellite hold? Here's another question. How do you reload it? When do you reload it? Can you reload it while it has rods or does it have to be empty? And here comes another question. What happens when you miss and hit a school? Another question, how much does all of this cost? I'm sure there's other questions I'm not even thinking of right now as to the reason why we don't have this in real life. But it makes really good stories for science fiction. Have peace and love.